back to Reaction Cast. It's your host, Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, here to give you another series review. This time around, we're going to be talking about the 14th season of Dropout's Dimension 20, A Court of Fae and Flowers. This time around, this one once again gets DM by Abrea Iyengar. Honestly, she's been one of my favorite DMs. I've been hunting down anything she's been working on, either been playing on or DMing on. So seeing her come back uh, to DM A Court of Fame Flowers was great. And then we have a wonderful cast. Um, some uh, some people coming back to, onto the table. Brelin, Brendan Lee Mulligan, uh, Scrap Scallion, main D- DM for Dimension 20, now player. I've only listened to him and seen him in a few other one shots or as guests on as a player on different shows so seeing him in a uh once again on dimension 20 as a player character the only other time i'm trying to remember i believe was uh miss and magics so seeing him in this setting was fun uh, coming back onto the table, as always, is Lou Wilson. Uh, always interesting to see what he'll bring onto the table. And the ever chaotic Emily Axford. This is one of the interactions I was looking forward to seeing how Abria and Emily were going to um, kind of handle each other. And there are three new members that I have... Uh, I probably have seen but never really caught my attention and that's my own fault for not truly paying attention to certain uh, players um, but I'm happy to start hunting down some other some more of their content uh, and new to the table is Oscar Montoya uh, he he was an interesting addition from all the uh, adventuring talks He's one of the newer players uh, onto the uh, TTRPG scene, so I want to see what else he has in in the in this space. Uh, he has other stuff as well, uh, but it was enjoyable to see him play uh, Deloso de la Rue. There's a bunch of other stuff I completely forgot to mention. Some of the other player characters, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll mention them a little bit. Uh, I'll go back a little bit because I know. Emily and Lou were playing cousins. Emily was playing. Oh my God, where Emily plays so many characters in Dimension Twenty. Uh, Lady Chirp Featherfowl and Lou Wilson was playing. Uh, where is this? Uh, where is it? Do they not have it? Come on, Dimension Twenty fandom, you have been doing my job for me so much. Uh, oh, they do not have it. Lork Squawk Erevis. There it is. And Brennan was playing. Uh, why can I not find it? Do, 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 oh, Captain KP Hobbs. And then uh, going then going and going back to the the, the cast. Uh, another member t- uh, that I've seen for the first time is oh I got it. I hope I pronounced this right. Uh, Serena Mar- Marie. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, they were very enjoyable to play um, Gwendolyn Thistlehop. Uh, there's more to her character than I was expecting. No spoilers here, but I enjoyed their performance. Uh, she, <laughs> she was a joy on screen um, for sure. Um, and then uh, there was, uh, uh, last but not least, there was Omar Na... Oh my god, I... I'm always bad with names sometimes. Omar Nanyim, I think that's how you pronounce his name, playing Prince and Hera. Now, yeah, he was kind of sort of like a comedy relief character, in my opinion. And I really enjoyed any time Omar was just put in the, kind of in the spot. It was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, the Court of Fae and Flowers is, you know, using your traditional dimension, uh, you know, I mean... Your traditional uh, D&D 5th edition with a mix of good society mechanics added to it, which I felt added really well for this setting. They're doing this like uh, period drama 
set in the Fey Wild. So it was interesting to kind of get this Regency style like season. It's been a while for me to like just that I've seen a Regency show. Like there hasn't been anything that I'm thinking off the top of my head that has this aesthetic. And and watching this made me feel like why haven't I watched some of these in a while? Because of how much of the dramas, how much of the back talks. I think the closest has been sort of the the I, I believe like kind of it's a little bit more grittier like what I'm thinking of is like the Lord of the Rings and the uh, Game of Thrones but that's a little bit more grittier this I wanted because yeah that that's the closest thing that I've seen recently and it's a little bit disappointing because I, I really do like watching and listening to the uh, A Court of Fame Flowers brought me back to kind of watching some of those old shows where there's always just there's always something happening people are always talking um it's it's an, it's a change from the constant like what i normally watch basically like the, if, if you're if you're listening to this on reaction cast you can see the list of different shows films animes that i watch and very little do you see any regency at least from the start of this sh- uh, from this podcast and it's it's been a hot minute that i've really taking a chance to watch something that there's a lot out there that i know of it's just nothing has caught my attention i would say where i would sit but watching this lets me like oh there's some i know there are some good uh some good regency shows and i think i might be willing to watch something after kind of this this 10 episode season has ended and boy uh if the if Dimension 20 fandom has a character, there's like 20 plus hours of content. And I think I've listened to it, most of it three times in a row. So I think Dimension 20 for the most part has always been a sh- show, which one, I do watch, watch it. And then while I'm working, I listen to it um, to just get another as- aspect to it. And once every once in a while, I go back and rewatch certain episodes. On top of it, then there's the uh is it adventure academy or the after show whatever the after show is called there's a lot of content that i watch i think it's one of the few shows that i way put for some people i would say i put a little too much but the they the content's good because the court of fame flowers the cast worked really well for each other and just like i don't know i don't know how to say it so you you're i'm already like 10 minutes in uh, like recording and i haven't even talked about what's happening basically i'm just talking about the cast wonderful cast i'm glad they chose wonderful dm like that's that is key here second thing audio they chose the audio and visuals the dome has n- not looked so fabulous in such a long time boy all the greenery all the new effects that really really brought up the thing some of the things that more recently we've been watching in the the latest dimension 20 uh shows have been some of the play sets those things are back ever since i believe was it shriek week i think it was shriek week but it's in the last couple seasons we've been getting these these wonderful set pieces again and i really really like it and then just adding this new mechanic of good society to just build up more of the story. And I, I feel this one's very, very enjoyable. One of the more spicier, like for sure, one of the more spicier seasons. Like it gets hot and heavy for sure. There, there, There's some strong emotions, some good character development. Oh my God. Like the thing is like a lot... One, you're doing Regency, and two, you're dealing with Fae Society, these these tricksters. So the way they handled all this and stuff, oh my god. It's kind of hard to talk about this show with without spoiling it, because you have you have Inhera, Prince Inhera, like heir to... Uh, well, what is he? I forget, not his court. He's a, the first prince to... The Unsealy Court, um, and 
Then there's Gwendolyn. Oh my god, the ads as I'm trying to read stuff. And I don't know, there's just so much. There's so much I want to talk about. But there's like spoilers, man. And that's the thing is like, I, it's hard to talk about the show. It's just, it's done really well. There's a lot of wonderful, like a lot of wonderful roles. There's, it's just, it hits really good. There's a lot of moments in this, in this season where some of the roles like, boy, do they, do they hit when they hit? And I, I don't, I don't know. It's just. Uh, there's so much I want to say, but I'm kind of just going to levy a little bit back just to kind of, kind of just, what's the best way to put it? Just say the basic thoughts of A Court of Fame. Story was wonderful from beginning to end. The, the dice, wherever they, the moon shined on them, they did their, they did their job. The cast dynamic and the way the chemistry worked with everyone was wonderful. Great NPCs once again from Abria. Wonderful character uh, um, creations from every member on the table. Uh, and just crazy shenanigans no matter what. Uh, and just an overall wonderful production I would say. It's one of the few seasons I will for sure, like, uh, highly recommend to people who enjoy these Regency-style shows and have a hint of tabletop uh, intrigue. Because, yeah, the, this is great. It's one of the few... It's one of my few top... I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll rate it right now. It's one of the few, like, like top-tier uh, D20 seasons for me because I'm going to give this one a solid 9 out of 10. It is a solid 9 out of 10 for me. I, I enjoyed every moment and there's very little things that really like put, would push it to a 10. The, I don't know, it, it, it would lead into some some spoilers so I'm, I'm not going to jump into it but there's a few moments uh, that just kind of is awkward, but you can o- you can only do so much because it's all improvised. But it's it's just kind of how the show is produced, um, and but just overall, just a wonderful show season. Like I'm, whether they they whether they bring back for a season two or this is the end, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts for. Uh, season 14 of Dimension 20, A Court of Fate and Flowers. I am looking forward to whatever next season is going to be. I'll probably be posting my reaction when the trailer drops next week. Let us know. Let, go ahead. Let me know what you guys think next season is going to be. There's been hints on Instagram and stuff like that from some of the cast. But yeah, thanks again for listening or watching. Until next time. See ya. See ya. See ya.